Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dave Kaufman. These are my fishing adventures. We are in Fairmont, Minnesota, which is in southern Minnesota, and this is a pretty well-known lake. This is Bud Lake, and the reason why it's so well-known is because this lake is full of yellow bass. So I'm here again with Dallas. So we've obviously got the clam set up. We've got our holes drilled. We are gonna see how many yellow bass we can pull out of this lake in the maybe two hours that we're gonna be here before sunset. All right, so we are re so we are reading fish on the bottom there. Wow, man, there's a whole school down there. So in this hole, we've got a slip bobber with a bear hook and a couple of stingers on there. They're also called mealworms, waxworms, maggots, whatever you want to call them. On this hole, I've got a jig also with those stingers and we're going to be actively jigging. We're going to let that one sit. And that's essentially what you're doing too, right, Dallas? Yep. So the trick to catching these yellow bass, it's just like any other pan fish. What I'm doing is I'm sending it to the bottom and then I'm cranking up about a foot and then you can just feel like this, just that little tap. And as soon as you feel that tap, you've got to set that hook or you're going to miss them. And they're real light hitters. They're just, a, it's almost like a walleye. They're just kind of tap and then you got to set that hook. Otherwise what they'll do is they'll kind of suck it in and spit it right back out just like a walleye does. And on that first tap, you've got to set the hook. First fish for nice. me. Look at that. That is a nice little look at that. It's it's a dinky little yellow bass. You gotta love it though. Yellow bass are primarily river fish found in the Mississippi River from Minnesota down to Louisiana. But they are found in a few lakes around the Mississippi River, but here they're actually invasive in this lake. The average weight is about three-fourths of a pound, but they can get up to about a pound and a half. Yellow bass are similar to white bass and striped bass, and they have an average lifespan of about six years. And the baits we used today was just a couple of waxworms on a number 10 rocker jig. All right, I gotta get back down there. Ooh, nice. Fine, they got one on here. This one feels a little better. Okay, I gotta fix my line there. You got all tangled up. Now, yep, so. stool. Okay. There we go. And that's gonna be about your average size. But they get about, I mean, I've caught them three times that size. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you can see right now, there's a whole school of them down there. There's a whole mess of them. So what do you got over there? You got another little guy? Yep. All right, the school is moving through. That was a dinky one. That is a dinky one. But yeah, we got to keep every one we catch because they don't want them going back in because these are invasive fish here. And that's the difference between Minnesota and Florida. In Florida, they don't care if you throw back the invasives here. It's illegal to. All right, so what's the story here? Why are these yellow bass in this lake? The rumor has it is that uh, they are in Iowa, in Clear Lake, Iowa, and people go down there and drive down just to catch piles and piles of these. Right. So rumor has it people are sick of driving down in Iowa, and they introduce them to lake chains here so that they don't have to drive so far. Oh, that's and lovely. And they had a shorter drive to take, but the problem is there's so many in here now that the other native fish have a hard time right. You know, establishing because all the food source. Right. They're being out competed. Yep. So every every yellow bass that we catch, it's actually illegal to throw back in. I believe so, but they're really good tasting, so I don't mind. Right, right. Oh, that was a nice hit. Here we go. Ooh, is he caught on the oh yeah. it's oh no. Caught on the transducer and made him look like a giant, but <laughs> he's just a little dinky guy, just like we've been catching here. Man, these guys are fun to catch. It doesn't matter what you're fishing for. Look See, at that, they turn purple. purple, yeah. So as soon as you pull these guys out of the water, they their bottom lip turns purple like that. That's actually kind of cool. I wonder why that happens. So guys, comment below if you know the reason why those bottom lips on these yellow bass turn purple like that. I've always wondered why that happens, and it's kind of a cool phenomenon. So leave a comment below if you know why that happens. If you don't know why that happens, well, just, you know, I don't know. Go, go ahead and make something up. Another fish on here. Well, this one seems like it has a about four <laughs> centimeters bigger than the last one but man these guys are so fun to catch and when that school comes through man it's just bam 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 but they're all about this size they're all little dinky things like this that kind of make fish chips but another cool one oh another one on come on up here <laughs> god it is just so much fun to catch these all day long like this no fish in me. Man. 
Yeah, oh, this is the type of fishing <laughs> where you absolutely lose count of how many you've caught. I mean, I, it's, it's not absurd to think, oh, he got caught up in that other line. It's not absurd to think that we're going to get 100 of these today. So you were telling me that there was a guide out here that actually guides and brings people out yep. here for yellow bass, and he used kind of like really high tech. Oh, hey, wait, we'll continue this conversation <laughs> after I see what you got there. Oh, he came off. He came off. Yeah, I need to switch a smaller hook, maybe. Yeah, that could be. That could be. But you were saying uh, that he was using some really high tech side scanning sonar, and what did he what did he discover he said in this lake? A school down here. Of these yellow bass, 300 feet long by 100 feet wide, big school. So imagine how many fish that's got to be. We said that again: 300 feet long by 100 feet wide. Yeah. That's got to be thousands and right. thousands of yellow bass down there. And you think that how many people come down here day by day and probably take 100 fish a day? So that's got to be quite a bit of fish down here for yellow bass. Yeah, because you know they're invasive. You can't put them back. You can take 100 a day if you want. Yep. As many as you want. And with that kind of fishing pressure, and there's still that many fish down there. That is, oh man, I missed him. I missed him. I'm there's a bunch down there right now. Sitting I mean, there talking, and I missed the hit. All right, Dallas got a big one on here. Feels nice. Yep. Bigger than mine. We'll see. I know I'm getting tangled. I, you got the transducer oh. again. <laughs> He's better than average one. Yeah. Not as big as yours, but. Yeah, it's still. A little gay. It's still pretty dinky. We'll do a count at the end, and I don't know. I'm Like I said, we're going to lose count how many we catch, but I personally think I'm probably at least 10 to maybe 30 fish more than you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know, man. I can't tell if this one's bigger or not. He's fighting a little harder. Oh yeah, he's taking a little drag. This yeah, could be a little bigger guy. Oh yeah! yeah we got there a nice we go. One. That's a bigger That's fish. That's what want to see. Nice. That's above average. That's a nice looking fish right there. That's a nice big one. Alright, that's the biggest of the day right there. Awesome. That's the fish to beat. <laughs> Alright, another one on here. Man, this is just literally fish after fish after fish i swear we're gonna get a hundred of these this is just too much fun it's just bam 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 god you gotta love it all right into the garbage chute fly boy there we go there's a fish on it's a little dinky do oh maybe not maybe not oh yeah it is Surreal. all right so uh we got doubles look at that almost the exact identical size man all day long you gotta love it all right let's take a little break here i just wanted to show you this lake look at this this is like a perfect winter fishing scene there's houses all over the place temporary pop-ups all over the place it's bright and sunny out here it's warming up it's not so windy but man this is the place that i love in the world a frozen lake everybody out here fishing if we're catching this many fish as we are, I'm sure every single one of these houses is having the exact same luck that we are. Man, this is awesome. All right, the only problem with being out here like this is there's not a lot of privacy. So I think I'm just gonna open this door for a shield and just stand here for a second or two. All right, with my morning coffee processed, as it were, we're gonna get back to it. Do you get another one? Yep, just go. <laughs> Well, my timing is pretty dang good. He's a bigger one. Yeah, he's a bigger one, yeah, yeah. He had a lot of activity to him. Man, all day long. Oops, hey, something's happening here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there he yeah. is. Look at that. This has got to be maybe fish 475. Ah. Look at that. Exact same size again. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. You know, when we get bass that are the exact same size like this, that's got to be less embarrassing for you that, you know, <laughs> you, mine is much bigger than yours. Yeah. I would think, anyway. All right, throw that one in the pile. Guys, are you getting tired of seeing all these yellow bass being caught one right after the other? Because I'm telling you what, Dallas and I are not tired of catching them all. We're probably at, well, I think we're probably over 30 by now. Take a look at this. Look at that. That is just a pile of yellow bass. That is insane. And this isn't even all of them. They're scattered all over the place, but this is kind of our pile here. 
Man, that's pretty awesome. It's a really good idea you had to, you know, set our pop up here, like literally two feet from everybody else out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I figured, uh, you know, if they're catching them, we got to drive right. That's in. right. That's right. I mean, that's that's what you do when you ice <laughs> fish, right? You go right up to the guy <laughs> next to you time. and set up two feet from him, right? Yeah. You want to see a hot hornet? That's Everybody what you do. <laughs> loves when you do that, right? <laughs> got to share the lake, right? <laughs> All right. I'm stuffing my face with jerky. Dallas is still fishing over here. That's a respectable average fish. I like that fresh bait. Yeah, you know what I like? Casey's jerky. Man, this ain't too bad at all. I like it. Yeah, well, yeah, all right. jerky when you're fishing. Maybe it's the fish on my hands that's <laughs> giving it that extra pizzazz. Oh. There we go. Really? Yeah, he hit it on the way down. Man, that's so awesome. I mean, they've been active this whole time. This whole time. They seem to be biting quicker now that it's getting dark, light, you know what I mean? A little later darker, in right, later yeah. in the afternoon. Exactly right. Seriously, we've been sitting here for, I don't know, maybe, when, what time did we get here? Like one o'clock. One o'clock. So we've been sitting here for three hours now and just, I mean, nonstop. Pop, pop, pop. Man, you just cannot beat this kind of action. You can, but you know. I don't know where I was going with that, but I was going somewhere with that. Ooh, damn, that one hit like a brick. This one's got some size to it. Oh, look at that, that's a bigger fish. That's not too shabby. You know, I really wonder if those stripes along its uh, body there mean anything, because some of them are broken. Some of them are just completely straight. I wonder if that's some sort of like Morse code to the other fish, like a like a serial number or like a UPC code to the other fish. Their patterns. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Each one of them look a little different. Yeah. I mean, that's just silly, but yeah, it kind of makes you think. Oh, look at this! This is insane. This is doubles. Got mine up. And look at that. Oh wait, yours is much, <laughs> much, much smaller. Oh, that's... I'm, I'm embarrassed for you, Dallas. The same size, guy. I'm, in, I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> Look at this mess of fish. There's got to be over 50 here. But this was just an amazing day fishing. Seriously, fish after fish, non-stop action. And now we have got a mess to fillet and make fish tacos whatever else we make what do you usually make with them fish tacos i have really a good recipe for they call them crappie cakes crappie cakes yeah. yeah so you fry them up once you you know get all the good ingredients in there um and then i mean you can't beat you just roll in flour and a little bread crumb right throw them in the oven at 425 perfect perfect that is just a whole big pile of fish i don't even you got a bucket or something we can count them out all right let's see what we got here one, two, 14, 15, 16, 28, 29, 36, 37, 44, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 69, <laughs> 70, 78, and the big one of the day is 79. 79 yellow bass. Whew, man, and I thought there was like 50 of them, and I thought that that was an exaggeration. That is a really good day fishing. So guys, again, Bud Lake here in Fairmont, Minnesota. If you want to catch a ton of yellow bass, there's no limit because they're invasive. Get down to this lake and catch a bucket full of these bass and get them out of this lake. They do not belong here. But again, such an awesome day of fishing. So Dallas, thank you so much for inviting me out here. When you told me that we would catch a big mess of yellow bass, I was like, maybe we'll catch 10. But man, we caught almost 80, so thank you, man. And to all you guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next fishing adventure, fish the planet and rattle on.